Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's Overking here, back on the Chronicraft SMP. Or well, I guess post-world reset. I'm gonna label this episode one, I'm not gonna call it season two, but we're just gonna ignore the last world because uh somebody kind of kind of forgot to pay for the last server. So yeah, we're gonna yell at him. His name is not Overking at all. But, as you guys can see, we're kind of already getting set up here. The server's been up for about two to three days now, so we've had a lot of time to get some stuff settled in. And I've had quite a bit of fun on the server so far. I don't have much recorded of the actual, like, start of the server because my audio was all sorts of whack. Basically, if anybody but me talks, it just sounds like a giant bomb going off in your ear. Or like a gunshot, and it's like really loud and horrible to listen to. So, trust me, I'm going to save you all some time from listening to that. But, I am able to show off a time lapse of me building my starter base. And, I guess, technically, while I do this... and eh, nah, we'll just do the starter base for this episode. Because, there is other stuff I wanted to try to do in this episode, but I feel like trying to cram too much into here might be a little bit of an issue. Because, I want to try to take things nice and easy. Very, very, very simple. Gotta start off nice and slow so that way I can ease my way into things because I definitely have a lot of ideas for farms. Me and GD are going to, instead of compete with each other, we're going to directly help each other this time around. And we're just going to make an absolute farm empire. Nobody's going to be able to compete with our resources. But I've gotten quite a few great enchants. I've been grinding on the server a little bit, used my fortune a little bit too much. I'm kind of uh, overweighing the whole server's economy as, like, the only diamond-armored individual so far. But we're kind of just chilling right now, and I wanted to get you guys introduced into the server because there's a lot of fun people on here. I don't know if any of them are going to upload. I might be the only one uploading again, which will be unfortunate, but not much you can do. But at least you guys are here to watch my point of view of this, ser this server. So, I guess we should probably hop into the first time lapse of the season, building the starter base. Welcome back after that time lapse. I'm a little tuckered out after all that work. But we have another goal to do this episode. And just real quickly, I wanted to comment on the fact that I'm going to be playing with an automatic fishing table because that looks fun for today. I'm not going to mess with it in the video. I might AFK a little bit. But as you can see, we have a bunch of resources on us. And you may be thinking, what could these possibly be for? And one of my goals on this server is to make everything feel as cohesive and as put together as possible. I don't want anything to feel out of place. And right now, my build is that out of place thing. So I want to build a staircase going all the way up this mountain right here. And how do I really want to do that? I'm not entirely sure. But we will figure it out using an assortment of blocks. Because if we don't, I may be very, very screwed. I'm thinking I want to do it this wide right here 
And then if I, uh, one sec, I still, I'm going to do a little bit of this on camera because I want to show you guys my thought process. And also I don't have any other content for the video. I'm joking. That's not the actual reason. I would never do that to you guys. No, I'm just actually kind of want to show you guys how I'm thinking through this because this may be a very jank looking staircase. So that's the start. And then if I just continue like this all the way down, that would look bad. But now, here's my thought process. If I got this to kind of like bend down here at a certain point, maybe it wouldn't be an issue because of boringness? I think that makes sense. Because if I go down, I would say probably... Maybe this far? Yeah, because that would go there. I don't know, maybe... Sorry, I'm just thinking through this right now, y'all. I think if I go down probably like 5 to 10 more blocks down here on this side, I can then cut it off and switch over to the other direction and make it go at more of an angled view. So that way it's not one straight and solid direction, so it actually looks like there's something to it other than it's just a staircase. Because, personally, I want my build to not look stupid. I'm joking, nobody's build on this server looks stupid. Everybody's actually put in a lot of effort. But, yeah, I'm kind of just going to continue like this a few more blocks down. I think there... I don't know, I think... It, this is making sense in my head, but I don't know if this is making sense in practice right now. I'm not doing the best job at showing my work at the moment. Yeah, now if I do that, I can make a little... Ooh, that's a steep drop. I can make a little platform here that'll make it look less so packed together, I guess. And it'll allow me to help it branch off a little bit into other places. Because I can also use this as a little fork point for other builds I want to build off to or something like that too. Instead of just using it as if it's like just a choke point and that's all it is. Because I think I want to go down right here. I don't have feather falling. Ow, that hurt. Like, a lot. Oh, yeah, this tree mod is annoying. It's actually not even a mod. It's just vanilla tweak. But, yeah, because if I continue up like this. Damn, I did not realize how far of a drop this was. I can... Oh, I did not do that correctly. Oopsie daisy. Yeah, no, but I think you guys are kind of getting the gist of it. If I continue like this, I should be fine to kind of continue to build off and make this look nice. Because right now, that's my main goal. Everything is supposed to look nice. It's supposed to look like one cohesive build or one cohesive set building or structure. Actually, not structure. I guess area? Because, like, the main goal right now, as I said before, is to make everything fit. Everything needs to look, seem like there's a purpose behind it. Like, this house looks great for now. I'll make it look better. I'm doing some decorations. It's kind of something I'm doing off to the side right now. But, as I... You know, but as I go about that, I want to make sure everything's connected with a path and stuff. So, making a way so I can get down to the little area that Andrew, Rain, and Potato are living at at the moment is going to be a very big thing. Also, I think this will probably look really cool, maybe? I hope it will. Because I'm about to sink a lot of stone into this. Even though I do have Silk Touch, but that's not the point. Doesn't matter how rich you are, this is still hurts to do sometimes. Using a lot of resources is just something really painful in Minecraft. Because you know how much time you spent gathering all those resources. But you don't want to use any of them, if that makes any sense. I'm going to start throwing a little more moss. 
I think from here I'm just gonna finish up and go all the way down the staircase because that's kind of all there is left so I'll be back once this staircase is built we are back everybody with our nice little staircase done I kind of just went down with the same design as we had before did a little bit of fencing uh, some stairs on top of the pillars and I put some bushes up the side just to add something to it I kind of like how it turned out I'm probably going to put in some trees or like some rocks or some probably terraforming projects in order to finish this up because it kind of feels done but it feels like there needs to be something like in front of it or some cut something down here that makes it feel like there's something special with the area down here because this just feels empty i'm not a fan of like this empty space but i can't really think of anything to keep this like keep this aesthetic i want well getting something put here so i'm probably just gonna build a hut or something down here not my storage house my storage house is going up there or maybe somebody else will put a build here and we can use that as kind of like our cover-up but for now we have our beautiful little staircase built god i actually kind of hated building this thing the amount of fall damage i took to my boots during that build was actually impressively annoying and honestly i think that's kind of it for the episode i can't think of much more i'm gonna do today because I'm already almost behind schedule for when I want to upload this video and I'm kind of out of time at the moment. But for now, I kind of want to leave off by explaining what I probably am going to start up next episode. Because there's a few things I want to do. First of all, I'm probably going to move this stuff inside the house. This house has just become a storage unit at this rate. And I have been decorating the outside over time. It's looking kind of nice right now. I'm probably going to get some more uh, growth, uh, not growth, nature blocks to build over the rest of it with. But the house is kind of done until the interior gets started, and I need to get this chest out of here. So for next episode, I want to do a few things, maybe. This is kind of just a long list. I want to get a storage house. I think I'm going to put it right here in this area, right here, which means I'll have to terraform this out a little bit. Or I'm going to put it behind the house. Either or, it'll go somewhere back here. And then I also want to get a pond or something. Now, that seems kind of weird to put a pond up here. But I kind of feel like a circular pond right here in front of the house with like a circular path going around it can help fill in this empty space right here as well as give the staircase and know what Travis has built over there a nice little pathway to connect to everything which is part of the reason I need all this moved and unfortunately I don't have silk touch on this beautiful axe of mine so that's annoying. But that's kind of my motivation behind moving all this stuff because I want to try to build a pond next episode as well. So, I guess I'll see how much time I have for next episode, but until then, I'll see y'all next time. So don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps me out, and just gives you a little bit of motivation to keep making these videos. So I'll see y'all next time, goodbye!